Based journalism as a field of academic inquiry started with the works of Johan Galton and his colleagues at Transcend um, back in the 1970s and um, leading on to the 80s. And the field has been taken on further by Jake Lynch and, um, and other colleagues. The concept of peace journalism, although it has really grown within the academic community, it hasn't really crystallized, if you like, within the area of practice. It asks journalists and their editors to impel or get the society to value non-violent responses to conflict. Now, when journalists give a lot more attention to peace initiatives, efforts being carried out by societies to build peace locally, community-based organizations, churches, mosques, groups coming together to undertake peace initiatives, whether it is homegrown or even brought from outside. Um, when journalists pay more attention to such stories, cover them, privilege them, then because the, the media is really powerful. They, um, they, they, they drive public discussion. They set the agenda for public discussion. And by doing so, um, you get the society to talk more about some of the peace initiatives, the peace initiatives that, that you're covering as a journalist. And when that is done, most societies, and even that society that you're covering, feels the need to actually go on and undertake other peace initiatives. And one of the tenets of peace journalism is to pay attention to the non-visible impacts of violence on societies and groups and individuals. Because violence isn't just about a broken limb or about the number or statistics of casualties. It's also about trauma. It's also about sleepless nights. It's also about um, the, the dining table that's empty. So by providing the, non, the coverage, if you like, to the non-visible impact of, or effect of, of violent conflict, the peace journalist makes society to value peace over violence and look with the need self to find means through which they can build local cultures of peace.